year 2021 marks the 60th anniversary of Frying Pan Farm becoming a Fairfax County Park Authority Park. If you've never been to Frying Pan, it's a unique place that's been a favorite destination for generations of Fairfax County residents and visitors. Frying Pan is a park that is one of the last working farms in Fairfax County. Like many communities in America, this whole area used to be family farms. People are surprised to find a working farm in the middle of suburbia near Dulles International Airport. When driving down West Ox Road, uh, they suddenly see horses, uh, cows, and more, which is a lot of fun. When you drive by Frying Pan, you'll also see some historic buildings, such as the Frying Pan Meeting House. It was built in 1791 and used as a church building for almost 200 years, except for a time during the Civil War, when it was used as a field hospital for soldiers wounded in battle. In the 1890s, the Kidwell Farmhouse and the neighboring Elmore House were built. The families that lived there were dairy farmers. They would take the milk from their cows to the Herndon train station, where it would then be taken to market in Washington, D.C. Back then, farmers raised cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens, in part to feed their families and sold at market to make money. Farmers also grew their own fruits and vegetables, as well as hay and corn to feed their livestock. So, how did farmers plow their crops during that time? They did it the old-fashioned way, with horsepower. Uh, for over 100 years, farmers would use draft horses to plow their fields. As technology advanced, as we got through our, our mission time period, you know, up to the 50s, tractors were invented, me mechanized harvesters were invented, and so everything became more efficient to, again, to help that farmer make more money to provide for his family. Up next, find out what changed these farmers' lives right after this break. Did you know that Frying Pan Farm Park used to be the home of famous turkeys after they were pardoned by United States presidents? Instead of winding up as a Thanksgiving dinner, the pardoned turkeys were brought here to live on the farm. Give the gift of fun and fitness and let the good times roll in Fairfax County Parks. From classes and camps to gardening and nature programs, rec center memberships, amusements, gift shop merchandise, and more. Park Authority gift cards are the gateway to a world of fun and one size fits all. Buy Park Authority gift cards at any Fairfax County Rec Center, Nature Center, Historic Site, or online. Share the fun with everyone on your gift list and let the good times roll in Fairfax County Parks. After World War II, the Herndon area farming community started holding 4-H fairs here at Frying Pan. At the fair, farmers competed to see who had the best livestock. The 4-H Fair became a very popular annual event, but then something happened that eventually ended the farming way of life in Herndon. In the late 1950s, the construction of Dulles Airport began. Land that had been used for farms and rural homes for hundreds of years was transformed into one of the largest airports in the world. As Dulles Airport was being built, the Fairfax County Park Authority wanted to preserve this historic property. They bought a few original acres and then added more over the years, and now we have 135 acres of historic buildings and the working farm. The mission of the farm is to basically demonstrate a working farm of the 1920s to 1950s. And so families, when they come to visit, you can take a tractor ride around the, around the farm to see the crop fields, to see the hay production, to also visit with all the animals. We have over 100 animals on site. And like I say, spring and fall are going to be our busiest birthing seasons. And so with, again, April through May is probably going to be your, your best bang. And then just keep coming back to see how everything grows and come visit us. Up next, we'll take a look at some other activities you can enjoy for free at Frying Pan Farm Park right after this break. Did you know that apple cider was extremely popular in Northern Virginia in the early 1900s? 
At one time, there were five times more apple trees in Fairfax County than there were people. This is frying pan cider press from the 1920s. Back then, it took a lot of time and effort to turn apples into a delicious drink. Come on down to the farm, Frying Pan Farm Park, where you'll learn about cutting, clipping, sorting, and spreading. When you're here, you'll see something different each day. Tractors plowing or planting fields, a restored blacksmith shop, and in the spring, baby pigs, goats, sheep, and calves. Kidwell Farm, a 20th century working model farm, hosts school tours, summer camps, scout programs, and special events. Experience all the sights, sounds, and smells by taking a wagon ride. Or get a first-hand lesson in farming by taking one of the many camp surclasses. Do you ride horses or just love to watch horses? Well, Frying Pan has indoor and outdoor riding arenas, a horse trail, and a wide variety of weekend horse shows. You'll love the country store, a revamped visitor center, and a rentable picnic pavilion. And unique to Frying Pan Farm Park is its preschool in the old Flores Schoolhouse. There's no charge to visit. For more information, visit the park's website or call 703-437-9101. Better yet, just come on down to Frying Pan Farm Park and get hands-on on the farm. Frying Pan Farm Park has become one of the most popular parks in Northern Virginia. It has welcomed as many as 750,000 visitors in one year. Here, visitors can see the farm animals and explore a variety of buildings and barns that interpret life on the farm in the 1920s to the 1950s a visitor center, a country store, an antique carousel, and more also add to the fun. Families can come to Frying Pan and have so many wonderful experiences, so many free experiences. You can come back day after day to visit the farmyard. Uh, the gates open at 9 daily. They're closed at 5. So not only do we have the animals, uh, but we have beautiful hiking trails. You can come. There's a waterfall back there. You know, a lot of things to explore within our 135 acres, including um, playgrounds, toy tractor areas, historic buildings that you get to walk through and tour, Are you ready to free? free concerts Are you ready to free? for kids, for families uh, that happen through the Hunter Mill Melodies, and really things, different things to enjoy all year long with events, as well as uh, always a good old day on the farm. To top it off, the Frying Pan Equestrian Center has hosted horse shows for decades that you can watch. You can also sign up for more than a dozen types of classes, including art, blacksmithing, and the very popular dog obedience classes. Frying Pan also offers day camps for kids during the spring, summer, and winter breaks, like horseback riding and theater production camps. So as you can see, there's plenty of exciting things to do around the farm. As Frying Pan Farm Park looks ahead, it will continue to preserve and interpret its past by telling stories about early farm life in Northern Virginia and providing free, family-friendly fun with some cute furry and feathered friends. Well, that's it for our show today. We hope you enjoyed it. For more information about Frying Pan Farm Park, visit our website or come on by for a visit. See you next time. <laughs>